Hey guys, I've got them. Where are the chicks? In here. Oh, what? Yeah, come here. Feather old chicks, aren't they? Ooh. Gorgeous. Yeah. What a disappointment. Oh, they're lovely. Beautiful. What did you get? Look. I got four salmon and a blue. Oh, and it's some of them a little bit younger. That's yeah, cute. They're all girls. That, yes, they are. So they'll all be layers. Oh, they are wonderful. And they're going to love it here. Oh, they will. So I've got water and food in here, Don. Fantastic. Um, they're very gentle, yeah. so they're great with children. There's a child who lives in this house, so it'll be perfect. Yeah. Speaking of which, I have to go and pick mine up. Oh, not a problem. I'll so look after them. So can I leave you too? Yeah, thank you on behalf you. of the chooks. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Bye-bye, chickens. See you, everyone. Now, there'll be two areas of lawn there and then two areas of garden here and over there. Now, what I've tried to do is to come up with a, a rather more feminine look. Often these days with modern landscaping, it's very cut and dried and lined out and, I don't know, it lacks humanity. This is more a feminine style of garden. Lots of little daisies and various bits and pieces, lovely colours towards the back, the pumpkins and the sturtions and so on. But this, to me is something that all landscapers should take note of. What do you, what do you think? That is gorgeous. Absolutely I love it. beautiful. This is my style of garden. You've done you know a great job. The scented rose. It oh, smells uh, like a rose. Two gorgeous perfume roses, but we've also got the pineapple sage in there that's perfumed and edible. Oh, okay. Your nasturtiums have that funny perfume and they're edible. So yep. there's lots in here that's sort of that farmyardy feel. Just Girls, pumpkins. Am I in touch with my feminine side? You are a snag. Side? You are, you are the are. genuine snag. snag. It's official. <laughs> oh, I'm a snag. Kiss. There you are. Look. Well, have a look at this. The little French chicken house is starting to come together. We're using second-hand timber, which could be a little bit of a trap for anyone that's having a go at home, because sometimes the timber's all over the shop, she's a bit warped or bent, so you've got to really pick your pieces out before you buy them from a second-hand shop. Maybe buy a few extra so you can toss the bad ones away. The timber's starting to come up out of the ground now. We've got tall roof going on here, some old second-hand palings to go on the sides. It's going to look fantastic. Very froggy. This is the book that we've taken most of our ideas from. We've got our resident French expert here, which is Lionel. What, what, did, what does it mean, this bit of Le Colleuse or whatever it is? You should know, Don. It means the colour of France. Oh, yeah. It's very yeah, right. Obvious, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> so we want you to get all the bits of bric-a-brac. I suppose you're going out on a bit of a treasure hunt. Yes, love that. Now, hmm. where's your wallet? Oh. Listen, if you guys are after some old uh, crappy stuff, just come round to my job. I got <laughs> heaps of it. It's everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> mate, no, no worries. <laughs> just go to my place, pick out whatever you want. <laughs> oh, love these places. Do you know how much I love off shopping? Oh, oh look, she's Damn got a saw. <laughs> Tara, have a look at this. An old mower. How gorgeous is that? <laughs> it's beautiful. Push! Oh. <laughs> great exercise, huh? Stuck <laughs> in the carpet. <laughs> Look at this. Hand forged hinges. These would be perfect for Don's barn door. I love them. I love the colour as well. I think Don might like these as chook nesting boxes. So, a couple of those will do the job. <laughs> It's rusty, it's definitely broken, it smacks of country. Don will love it. Now you can get the whole family involved on a process of a journey like this. You can go out to the country, pile the kids in the car, you will remember those days forever. They will be very, very special moments. And every piece will have a story to tell. Now while I'm being incredibly nostalgic, I'm not getting any work done. So I'd better get back and see what the others have been up to. Well, the authentic French barn is starting to come together. And have a look at this window that I've knocked up there with the old hinges that we've picked up. 
They're going to go straight on there. Another one there will cut that out and create that old barn style window. Now, not only could you whack chooks in here, but I tell you what, if you had a couple of young blokes, they would love this as a cubby. Maybe put a bit of a loft there, slippery dip out the window, maybe even a rope or a brass pole to slide down. This would double up as the chook shed, the cubby, or even the world's best doghouse when you're in a bit of strife at home. Well, this is the third and final project in my ultimate guide to paving. It's the brick paving that's going to form all the paths through the veggie patch. Now, what I'm using are second-hand recycled bricks, nice and rustic, very authentic. And because we're going to be planting all through here, I haven't used any road base. I've actually built up in layers of paving sand. So once all the bricks go down and the paths are formed, we can dig out the sand. We won't upset Don. And more importantly, we won't upset the vegetar blaze. When you build something like this wonderful old barn-looking structure, unless you carry the theme through the garden, the whole thing is going to look quite silly. So the critical bit for me was finding a fence that would go with it. And we saw this wonderful picture out of the book from France, and you notice this old fence, which is just old bits of wood that have been shoved in and some old recycled wire draped around it and pumpkin vines with the pumpkins there spreading around the area. So that's exactly what we're doing. So here's the fence. You can see the old bits of wood there recycle wire and we've got the young pumpkins there which are going to grow and absolutely look awesome as they spread over the fence and produce glorious pumpkins. Now time for tonight's plant of the week. This one is the common or garden nasturtium. And it is a fabulous plant. Gives you all those flower colours. A lot of people don't realise that these days, lots of different colours. You can buy it in seed or at the nursery, growing young plants or whatever. They come in yellow, all sorts of oranges, right through to a gorgeous red colour. And this particular variety here also has the variegated leaves. It's great for putting down the back somewhere, as we're doing here. Spreads along, flowers for much of the year and it's one of the world's best kids' plants, if not the best in the world. Now, we're crossing to a couple of experts now. Now, this is the sort of fun kids have with them because water will ball on the leaves. It, it's, it's almost like little bits of mercury floating around the place, except it's only water and it's totally safe. <laughs> so remember that, hardy as all get out. Lots of different flower colours, Variegated foliage, if you like it, cheap and easy to grow. This is one of the world's great plants, the humble nasturtium. Don't you just love that? They do this a lot through Europe. This particular one obviously is in France, and it's in Le Livre, the book. And look at it, isn't it gorgeous? So what we've tried to do, Tara and I are building up the firewood. Well, it's not quite as good as in Le Livre, but it's not a bad look, is it? You can do this at home. Now that's what I call scrub carpentry. I'm like a surgeon with a hot scalpel. is this rattan edging. It's so easy to install. All you do is just pop it into the soil like that, get it from some of the larger hardware stores. It costs you around about $14 a metre. I think it is a beautiful touch, this gorgeous cottage garden. Once you've got all your levels right with that even slope to the lawn, then you put on some turf underlay, which is just a good quality, rather sandy mix of soil. And you use that to get it really level. Then laying the turf, well, the turf itself, it's so easy. It's just like rolling out carpet. This is one of the last bits we're putting out. 
and it is so simple. Honestly, kids can do this. There's nothing really technical to know about it. Roll it out, and then as soon as you've rolled it out, having cut in all your various bits, and then of course you water it. I wouldn't mow it for maybe one to two weeks in the warm time of the year, because if you do, you're gonna do it damage. Let it settle, let it start to grow, and then when it's up a bit, a high mowing to begin with, then gradually work it down a little bit. But be very gentle with it for the first perhaps four to even eight weeks, and you will have a beautiful lawn for the rest of your life. does work so well. We had a dream and we pulled the dream off, but it, the devil is in the details. Whether it's the old padlock there, the old ladders, milk churns, of course the, the water pump, the little push mower, the old bike, whatever it is, all of those sorts of details, every one of which sits in the landscape. Oh, I think it's awesome, Tara. What do you reckon, the, the way everything fits together? I love it. I want this garden. Yeah. I absolutely love it. And a couple of practical things, all the pot plants, things like succulents yes. or geraniums, don't die. No. And they'll sit in pots. That's a good thing. <laughs> more or less forever. But it's not high maintenance essentially. No, no, no. Seen. No. This is one of those sort of blousy, meadowy gardens that you just let ramble a bit. The only thing you do, pumpkins are a little bit rapacious, mm. so you just keep hooking them up, draping them over the walls a bit, and if the chooks eat the odd leaf or flower occasionally, who cares? I love this job. It's mm. a good one, guys. Here's to our French garden, oh, country yeah. gardening at its best. Oh, well, it's on time. Vive la France! I've got to say, though, je suis très fatigué. Oh, really? You're knackered, yeah, are you? Yeah, absolutely. In other words, I'm extremely tired. <laughs> well, uh, I was going to say, uh, we don't le uh, jardin uh, magnifique, uh, voila. Yeah, huh? right. I actually yeah. speak French, mate. Right? That's pretty special. Oh, I actually said to you then, the garden looks fantastic. Well, that is the show for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Au revoir. Oh, Au revoir, wow. design. <laughs> That's French for Uru. <laughs> <laughs>